Hi guys, welcome back to another video. If you are new here, I am Vicky and I've just recently started getting back into filming YouTube videos. Um, so today for you, I have my DIY fire pit in my garden. I um, got the inspiration for this from my stepdad. He copied it off of another one of our friends who's had their fire pit for years. Uh, they posted a picture of them doing up their garden. He saw the fire pit and he recreated it. They used a washer drum to make a DIY fire pit, dug a hole and put some stones around it. And I tried to do that, but I couldn't get hold of a washer drum, like, anywhere. I could buy a second-hand washer and, like, have to take it apart to get the drum out, but that was going to cost me, like, £60. And I could just buy a really nice fire pit for that. And the whole reason why I don't want a really nice, expensive fire pit is because... Things tend to go missing from people's gardens. So I don't live in a particularly rough area, really. But, yeah, things go missing from people's gardens quite often. So what I got is the big metal flower pots from B&M. They're about £10. And I decided to use one of that instead. Um, so, yeah. That's really all I could talk about in the intro, so I will just get into me making my fire pit. Okay guys, so this is what I got from B&M. This giant metal tin that says beer on it. I wanted to start off by saying that this is not a tutorial. This is just me showing what I'm doing. I moved all of the pebbles out of the way to begin with. I should have really done this in a square because I ended up having to fix that later. I thought I'd be able to put the stones in a nice pretty circle and that was just way too complicated for a novice to do. So I moved all of the pebbles out of the way and then I took up the matting. <laughs> out that underneath there was layers of pebbles and matting, pebbles and matting, so I ended up having to cut quite a few layers of this matting out to get to some decent soil. The reason I did this is because I wanted to dig the pot into the ground to help protect the surrounding ground from the heat. It's something that I've been told to do, but I made a mistake when I was doing this because as you can see there is a big giant rock um, and it offset where I'd originally put the circle. So this ended up screwing me over later on but I fixed it so it's fine. I just dug and dug and dug. I used my hands because I couldn't find my little trowel but I found it later on. This is me trying to use the little stones to make a circle and it didn't go very well. I just ended up trying to make a square, but then that didn't go very well either. not get it to look right at all. I was not happy with the odd bits and ends. And this is me fixing it to make it more of a square because I obviously decided that a circle was just way too difficult. If I had planned ahead instead of just trying to figure it out as I was doing it, this would have taken a lot less time, but I was just winging it. And away the rocks go. 
I ended up using my edging stones from the edge of my garden. They were there when I moved in, but I didn't really feel a need for them anymore, so I decided to use them to give me a nice square shape. There was a bit of me talking there, but I completely forgot about it while I was editing. I'm just saying that I'm going to even out the hole where the bucket goes because pebbles kept falling in and it just wasn't sitting as flat as I would like. And then I just evened out the, the edges, the square bit, just made sure they were in nice and secure and as level as I could get them. Then used some littler rocks in the corners because I thought it made it look pretty and more put together than having the edges sort of exposed like they were. When I put the camera back, I put it back wrong. So here I'm just filling the gap in between the rocks and the tub with the excess pebbles that I dug out. This is to help contain the heat so the heat doesn't spread to the grass and the surrounding ground. And then I leveled out the pebbles that were left around the fire pit. Last thing I did was to try and cut off the rope ties, but they would not budge, so I ended up tucking them in. So here it is, it's done. It's completely, the sun's in a weird angle. Let's try over here. That's a bit better. So it's completely filled in with pebbles down there. I've evened all the pebbles out, put some stones in there just to like weigh it down and help distribute the heat a little bit. And yeah, it's, it's not, it doesn't look professional, but it's a DIY fire pit, so it's not going to. And I'm happy with it. So that is it. It was about two, three hours worth of work at most. And I created a lovely little fire pit for my garden. If you have any questions or any comments on how I can make a fire easier, because I really struggled to get the fire going, um, please comment down below. And if you liked this video, subscribe, because I will be doing my full garden transformation from when I first moved in. I don't have any original pictures of what it looked like, um, but when I started doing my garden up until when it's finished, um, that's a few months still out because I'm not finished in my garden. But if you subscribe and hit the little notification bell, you will definitely see that when that comes up. So yeah, I think that's everything for this video. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.